Monday, it's summer, and a lot of us, we have our children in childcare while we bring home the bacon. <laughs> Here's a question, how ready is your child care provider for emergencies? Well, with us today is Carrie Williams, the Rainbow Fleet Executive Director, and you're gonna help us know a little bit more about this. And Carrie, how does Rainbow Fleet help child care providers know what to do for emergencies? Sure. So First and foremost, we train child care providers on many important topics, but emergency preparedness is a really big one. Mm -hmm. um, safe sleep and emergency preparedness are the two big changes to the child care licensing statutes this past year. Okay. And so we are offering training in you know, large groups for emergency preparedness, getting that disaster plan together, and then we actually go out to child care facilities one-on-one -on -one and do a tailored plan that really meets all the criteria of their specific facility. So when did this take effect? This in November. In November. Yeah. Okay. So this is when we talk about emergency preparedness, what are we talking about? We are talking about anything that might happen out of the ordinary. So fire safety, weather safety, um, active shooter or intruder safety, anything that might come up that would be out of the norm that would put your children at, at risk. Are, we, are you finding just because this is new and that it has to be done now mm -hmm. that people uh, may not have been as prepared as, as the law is saying sure. they need to be? And I don't even think it's that they're not prepared. Uh -huh. I think it's um, they know what they're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. But it's that communication piece with parents that has been missing. So if there is a fire, where do the child care providers take the kids once they get them out of the building? Do they take them across the street to the neighbor's house? That would be a different plan than if there were, um, you know, an active shooter and there were a lockdown and they had to shelter in place. A different plan as if there was a weather event. So if they needed to evacuate because of a potential tornado, they're probably not going to the house across the street because they're in the same path. Mm -hmm. So it's really all about getting that plan on paper, in place, in an accessible location for the staff, for uh, teachers, for the director, and to make sure that parents actually know what the plan is. Well, also, because unfortunately, we've just had more run-ins with these kind of things. Mm -hmm. As a parent, you're more concerned. So Absolutely. you're thinking about it and you want to know what's going to happen. You want to know what's going to happen. You want to know that your child is safe, um, you know, at all times when they're with you, when they're not with you. They spend the majority of their day in child care. So that safety element is, is just so critically important. And also, if the, if the children are old enough, and, and again, I would say three and above, they too can understand if you go over some of this stuff with them, I would imagine. They absolutely do. Um, sadly, in schools, now they're doing, you know, intruder drills where children get into the bathroom stall and get up on top of the toilet and be, you know, very still and very quiet. That happens in childcare too, to some degree, um, with the older children. But it's just, it's a different time that we live in now than when we were kids. Mm -hmm. And so we want to make sure that, you know, when we were little, you just went out in the hall and you covered your head. Like ducking you know, that, cover, okay. That's the emergency preparedness yeah. you remember, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's different now. And so we just have to make sure that we are adapting to changing society, really. And again, you guys provide the training for child care providers um, and they can, do you, you go into some, if they call, you'll go into their we place? We can go or vice on or, site. They, um, they can come to us mm -hmm. for a training. We can go on site with them for, it's what we call technical assistance, but it's on site mentoring for child care providers. And we help craft that very detailed plan, make sure they're not leaving anything out. We even have refrigerator magnets that have all the emergency contact numbers. Um, poison control, the fire department, everything right there listed and handy so that anyone can get to it. Okay, well that's a wonderful service you provide. Thank Again, you. if you need any help when it comes to child care and parenting, Rainbow Fleet is there to help. Their number in OKC 405-525-3111. They're back every other week with more expert advice for parents who are raising Oklahoma. You know what, they also have a number for those who speak Spanish. It is 405-525-8783. Thanks again, Carrie. There is help out there for new moms.